hey cousins welcome back to my channel my name is moni if you are new here and on today's agenda we're gonna be talking about diddy because he seems to can't keep himself out of the headlines and according to zmz diddy is currently being sued for sexual assault by a former male employee like i said mr take that cannot keep himself out of the headlines Ever since Cassie came forward, the floodgates just have been open on him. It's become open season. So according to TMZ, Diddy has just been sued by a man claiming the mogul sexually assaulted him. In the legal docs TMZ obtained, Rodney Jones, a former producer and videographer for the mogul, claims he was repeatedly sexually assaulted by Diddy and subjected to unwanted advances by associates of Diddy at his direction. So they're alleging not only was Diddy trying to get with Buddy, and Diddy was telling his peoples, you can get that too. It's up for him. Jones claimed Diddy, among other things, would grope his genitals and touch his anus. Jones went on to tell CMZ that Diddy would allegedly parade around naked in front of him and many others. It did not matter who was in the studio if he, or on any premises. If Diddy wanted to walk around naked, he was walking around naked. Jones believes Diddy was trying to groom him into having sex. He says Diddy would downplay the alleged assaults and called it horseplay. He said, now nah, we just kicking it. This ain't nothing. We just joking around. We just having a good time. It ain't sexual assault. It's just horseplay. Get with the program. That's weird. <laughs> Jones goes on to allege Diddy forced him to watch a video involving Stevie J having sex with another man. Stevie J. We talking love and hip hop, Stevie J. Faith Evans. Stevie J, Jocelyn Hernandez's baby father, Mimi's baby father, Eve's ex-boyfriend, Stevie J, the producer, Stevie J. Jones allegedly showed TMZ a screenshot of the video that he allegedly has of Stevie J engaging in sexual acts with another man. Um, the article goes on to say that there are more allegations he says a female cousin of Diddy's girlfriend, Young Miami, also sexually assaulted him. So apparently Young Miami's cousin, female cousin, assaulted him as well. The cousin allegedly tried to have sex with him in front of Diddy and members of his staff. So they was just having oochie coochie all in front of everybody, apparently. Allegedly. And there's more. Jones goes on to say Diddy brought prostitutes to his house in Miami. And on one occasion, Jones says he was present at the house and was drugged and possibly R-worded. He also alleged at several parties, Diddy intentionally served women bottles of tequila and vodka brands laced with drugs. There are more allegations, including bringing underage girls to Diddy's home and providing them with alcohol. Jones claimed Diddy directed Stevie J and his son, Justin Combs, to recruit prostitutes. And in Justin's case, he was instructed to find underage girls to attend the parties. Jones claimed Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooding Jr. on Diddy's yacht, and Cuba allegedly began touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones' legs, his upper inner thighs near his groan, the small of his back near his buttocks and his shoulders. And he provided TMZ with a photo of Cuba Gooding Jr. and him. I don't know if they're in the studio or something, but he was with Cuba Gooding Jr. And Cuba looks a little too close for comfort to me. Um, there are also allegations of a shooting where Jones says Diddy and his son Justin got into a heated argument at an L.A. recording studio. Jones says gunfire erupted and a man named G was hit and bleeding profusely from his stomach. Jones says Diddy told him to lie to cops and say G was shot in a drive-by. 
It's also worth noting that LAPD investigated the shooting and reportedly found the victim had been shot outside the studio during a robbery and merely ran into the studio while still bleeding. In addition to Diddy, Jones is suing Justin, other employees, as well as various recording execs. And according to the docs, he's seeking at least $30 million in damages. Um, TMZ states that they reached out to Diddy, they reached out to Cuba, and they reached out to Stevie J, but unfortunately, they didn't get a response back. That's not unusual. They're probably not going to comment on the story. They're just going to try to ignore it until they can't ignore it anymore if it goes to court. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. It looks like I said before... Cassie opened the floodgates and Diddy is paying for everything he's allegedly done. No one's cutting him no corners anymore. They're coming after his ass. And if he did it, rightfully so. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Please be sure to like this video and I will catch you guys in my next one. Later.